You're listening to BMRF Radio. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news report. Unknown atmospheric phenomena have been reported throughout the area. Meteorologists have been unable to identify the source of the strange electrical displays, but we will keep you informed of any developments. We're returning out our regular programming.
We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Several reports of strange happenings in the local countryside have been received here at the radio station. Sheriff Chester Rockwood insists that such reports are just hearsay and rumors, likely spread out by his rivals in an attempt to undermine his positions in the upcoming elections. Rumors are not, some of these reports are very disturbing, and until they can be dismissed, we are advising people to be cautious and stay indoors. We now return you to our previous broadcast. Get it off me! Get it off! Get it off! Oh. <sighs> 
Just men to deal with problems. God, you're normal. Do you know what those things outside are? Wait, I think I hear a vehicle coming. Thank God, we're being rescued. Ah! <laughs> 
Contact the authorities. All the phones are down and the roads are cut off. But there's a radio station in town. If you can find your way there, maybe you could radio for help. The police have all turned into.
Wait right here.
<sighs> Food. Mommy's home. He's just committed suicide, boy. Fresh meat. Why do we hunger? <gasps> no! Whoa! Uh, oh my. Uh, oh no. My goodness. Oh. Ah! Uh. Oh. oh dear. Oh. Get back. Ah! Ah! Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Whoa. My goodness. Uh. Oh. Oh. Uh, Good one, get back. boys. Now no. have yourselves a little oh, reward. No. Ah! Uh. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. No! Oh, I don't no. want to die! Oh dear! Oh! Get up! Get up! Oh, what that stench! Yeah, I'll wait here. Yeah. 
I'll stay here and guard this area. Okay, I'll cover you. Man, did you see that shot? Yeah. <laughs> 
team, do you read?
would have said if you're worried, Don. That chicken shit bastard ain't getting out. As my men block all the town exits, I'll keep him out your damn head. Just you keep your end of the deal. The experiment shall not be interrupted. Soon we will have many more allies to follow us. Just a few more tests. Hurry your damn ass up, Doc. We ain't got time for this bullshit. The outside is gonna be on our asses like stank on shit for long. Hey, I hear something.
Sheriff Rockwood called, which was rather strange. Earlier, the police radio had said he disappeared while investigating a disturbance down at the city mortuary. He didn't seem worse for wear when he called. Something seemed wrong. I suppose I'll find out when he gets here. Thank God you're normal. Everybody else here seems to be out of their mind. I'm Alfred, Dr. Franklin's assistant. We were working in the lab downstairs and we found something in the city water. Come on, I'll show you. It's something that can bring anyone alive or dead to some intermediate state of half-life. But after that, Dr. Franklin started to act strangely. Have you met him yet? I'm afraid that he's now infected too. Oh God, poor Dr. Franklin. He was a good man. Just trying to find out what was causing all the zombies, but in the end, he just made things worse. You go on, I'll wait right here. Oh, I'm not coming with you.
I'll stay here. Me? This should make you feel better. I'm slowing you down, am I?
so fast. So much flash. Out of this alive. Oh no. Oh. Good to see you. I believe so. Well, I think it's rather stimulating. Don't you? I have no doubt.
Almost. Almost. Compound secure. Port around. They multiply by the hour. By the time they'll press, maybe too late. What the hell?
that I'll be back. You can't kill me. Wake up. Wake up. You're having a nightmare.
beating I don't suppose you reconsider. Thank you. 
want to die!
<laughs> you trapped like a dead in the hunting club. Now you're gonna pay for screwing with this place. Take them away, boys. Haha, <laughs> you trapped like a dead in the hunting club. Now you're gonna pay for screwing with this place. Take them away, boys.
We's gonna go forth as an army and kill them bastards outside us. They are the cause of our hunger. They die in the pigs and expect us to molder in the grave. Now we shall go forth and feast upon the flesh of the living and coat the world in a sea of blood. We are the dead and they cannot defeat us. We are never growing the more the lobby and we shall satiate our hunger. We shall gorge ourselves on the flesh of this damned earth and send all the living chicken shit to eternal damnation. I hear you asking, why do we hunger? I say we hunger for conquest over the living. We hunger for victory.
Oh god, somebody please help me! Listen, it's too late for me. Oh, shoot me now. I don't want to be one of those... those things.
I need your help. We're gonna have to work together to get out of this mess. I just flashed out here, but you're not to activate the flight control system while I start the engine. I can't access it from this side. You must find a way to the asylum complex to the control room, and then meet me at the head. Hurry!
the escapees. He was dead, wedged under a desk. Guess his companion decided they weren't friends anymore. Another sick patient bit the dust. Third worst day. I do the autopsy now. better doctor than him. They built this place on a graveyard, you know. Who goes there? Who goes there? Who goes
To wage war against the monstrous humanity. A war never surpassed in the dark, lamentable catalogue of history. You rat bastard. I'll catch that wild son bitch. At least I had sense enough to leave when the fire alarm went off. Some doc you are. Ain't even got any common sense. And now I'll look at you. You look like one of them fangs is sewed together. Yes, it does seem that we have both suffered some mental degradation. However, be sure that of an outsider will suffer retribution for the destruction of my person. <laughs> Now the question is we have to... What? You? He's right there! Sound the alarm! Shit-faced son of a bitch! Get that bastard! And bring me the head of the guard who let him in!
ripe and ready for eating. In the gutter you will soon be bleeding. I am your only mourner. You are what I eat. So much flesh, so much meat. With my hands, your skull I will beat. Leave your carcass in the street. My arms are a huge massage. They rip your limbs from your body. Relish the pain in which you writhe, for you have been something rotting. You are what I eat. So much flesh. So much meat, with my hands your skull I will beat. Leave your carcass in the street. Disembowel you in the night, a smorgasbord of organs against the wall. No one here cares about your plight, we just state your family at the mall. You are what I eat. So much flesh, so much meat With my hands, your skull I will beat Leave your carcass in the street 